What is up guys and welcome back to the channel guys. This was actually recommended to me uh, The metric moment still talking about the metric system. Oh my guy uh, If I forgive me if I pronounce it wrong probably in Ing Bingstad Sent me there's a video that um, easily teaches the entire system basically with one only a bottle of water in a rope and you know look up metric uh metric moments so that's what i'm doing that's what i'm checking now so we're gonna see this might this might have been something i did learn in school or something like that you know and just didn't like just super focus on it but we're gonna see string nickel and water y'all hit that subscribe button send down those recommendations and let's check it out so betsy let me help you out with the metric system <laughs> okay First, we have this piece of string that I cut to be one meter long. Okay. A meter was originally defined as one ten millionth the distance from the equator to the North Pole. Most people don't care much about that. If you took a thousand of these end to end, you would have a kilometer. Mm. If you did five times that, you'd have a five kilometer or a five k which is the high school cross country course. Okay, 5,000 meters. Let's take and divide it, however. I'm gonna divide it in 10 equal parts. Each part will be a deci meter, and there's 10 of those in a meter. You can take a decimeter, hmm. and again divide that into 10, and get a centimeter. Centi means there's 100 of them. 100 centimeters in a meter. Something smaller, take a centimeter, divide it into tenths, and get a millimeter. Here's where your dexterity comes in, Betsy. I'm going to lay out one decimeter. Put your little finger there, please. And another one right there. Hmm. I'm going to pull it over here. So the uh, width will be one decimeter. Back over here for another decimeter. Then close this off. Can you get pinch that one too? So now we have a square decimeter or a hundred square centimeters. Wow, yeah, definitely never learned. I never learned. They just gave us a ruler. We had a ruler with centimeters and inches on that thing. Square decimeter or a hundred square centimeters. We're going to make a volume though. Let's pull it up a decimeter and make a cube. Wow. Envision a cube here. So this is a decimeter by the decimeter by decimeter. Or, or 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters, which is equal to a thousand cubic centimeters. Mm. Or one cubic decimeter. Okay, so that's its volume. You don't like holding it, put your fingers up. We'll put that right there. This volume of water will exactly fill that one cubic decimeter. This volume of water is a liter. Therefore, a liter is equal to a cubic decimeter. Mm -hmm. And just as though there, there were a thousand cubic centimeters in our original cube, there are a thousand cubic centimeters in this volume, but this volume is a liter, so therefore a cubic centimeter is the same as a milliliter. So that's it for volume. A liter or cubic decimeter of water has a mass of one kilogram. Pick that up, please. Mm -hmm. Now you can experience the force of gravity on one kilogram. That's about 10 newtons. Wow. When you're doing it, if you were to bring this into outer space, you'd want to sense its mass another way, move it back and forth like that. Notice it has some inertia and you have to overcome that. You've essentially made a little twanger. That is what <laughs> one kilogram mass is. Okay. Set that down. So this is a kilogram. I feel like I feel like he need to write this down. I need to find a video where he can he writing this down because I understand it, but I'm a bitch. I gotta see it. I gotta see it. 
But man, that yeah, we never we never learn. Well, I didn't have a teacher explain it like this. Like I said, they used to just give us rulers and those type of measurements and we used to have a measurements chart that just told us like how much a centimeter is to an inch, how much an inch is to this, how much a foot is to it already told us what it is, so we didn't really have to do too much other than like the calculations to find out how much a centimeter was to an inch type thing like that and so if we divided that into a thousand, then we'd have one gram. Hmm. One gram of water has a volume of one cubic centimeter, which is also the volume of one milliliter. To help you remember what that is, you got your hand, I have a nickel. That, my dear, is the mass of five grams. Mm -hmm. So you know what five grams feels like. Okay. Next, this is water. We're going to talk about temperature. The Celsius scale is all about water. The freezing point of water is zero on the Celsius scale. The boiling point of water is 100 on the Celsius scale. And you divide that difference into 100, and each one of those is a Celsius degree. Hmm. The freezing point of water is the most critical temperature for all life on the planet. As soon as the temperature gets below freezing, below zero, you see a negative, that means your fall crop, your, your, your summer garden, your perennials are done for because they'll turn to ice. Mm. If you have animals or something, you have to make sure that their water is warm or something, otherwise it will freeze and your animals will die. Dang. Very, very critical temperature. If it gets down to minus 10, minus Actually, minus 15 is when I have to go out to my chicken coop and lug big things of jerry jugs of hot water so my birds don't freeze. Wow. Between zero degrees and 10 degrees, you better put a jacket on when you go out. Facts. <laughs> you're chilling. Between 10 and 20 degrees, you can get by with a light jacket. It might be a little chilly unless you're doing some strenuous work, but it's, it's not all that bad. You can make it without a jacket between 10 and 20 degrees. 20 degrees is room temperature, like pretty much in here now. It's quite comfortable. When you get up to 30 degrees, if you go outside and it's 30 degrees, you do any physical activity, you're going to be sweating. Mm. That's, that's a warm day. If you leave your house in the morning and it reads 40 degrees, that means during the night your parents have moved you to either Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, <laughs> or somewhere in um, the desert, okay? Uh, Death Valley, that's 40 degrees. 50 degrees is the temperature of the hottest temperature you want water in your house so you don't get scalded. As it comes out your faucet, you don't want it longer than 50 degrees. Mm. It's also the temperature of medium rare beef. Um, so those are the key temperatures. Do you have any questions? I don't have any questions. I didn't. <laughs> I think everybody, I was, I ain't gonna lie, I was more amazed and stunned. Like, it was, was, this one was hard to really just, you know, respond and, you know, just give my point of view or my opinion type. But, like I said, we never, like, the way he explained that, you can tell he's been doing this for years, yeah, and, he he might have been around the world and just learned a lot too, but I think it's neat. I think it's cool that he was able to like break that down just with a bottle of water. Cause like I said, they used to give, but we used to just had this little little paper. It had all the measurement things that we needed to know how much this is equal to that, how many this is equal to this type thing. So definitely, definitely learned it different. And it might have I don't know. It might have been the easy way out, you know. Because it wasn't too difficult until we did the test. Because, you know, it, it, you learn something in school. The test is definitely different from what you learned, and it's much harder. But I think that's cool, but I definitely got to find. I'm probably be looking to see some measurements, see how they actually just written, write it down. You know, how, how it's written down to what he explained. Because 
I'm gonna have to watch this again. I'm gonna have to watch this again to be honest. I'm gonna have to see how you break that down again because that is very interesting. That's very interesting. But that's all I have for this video. Y'all make sure y'all hit that subscribe button, send down those recommendations, and y'all be blessed, be the best, and be you. I'm out.